Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2. Apparently, we are about to be sucked into the black hole butthole of doom. Very fun. But don't worry, we've got Bank Toad with his sword and shield. That's actually a spear. Same thing. All right. So we are in World 6 officially, but we haven't finished some of the places earlier in the game. As you can see, I think World 3 needs a little bit of polishing off. So we'll start by doing a Prankster Comet. The Beat Block Prankster. That sounds like fun, doesn't it? Time to lay some fat beats for all of you. I know you all appreciate that. That was for you guys. Pretty high quality. The Silver Stars in Double Time. Bet you'll never guess what this one is. It's exactly what you think. You're doing the same thing, just faster. And I think the orientation of this is a little different, but we appreciate and accept all orientations. So we're gonna move along. Hopefully you've all been doing well. As you can see, everything is very quick. Oops. <laughs> was not ready for that, I actually almost died. That would've been fun. It wouldn't have been atypical for an episode, though. Oh, he gives, gives us Yoshi this time, and that's kind of nice. This is a little bit of a fail-safe to keep yourself afloat. There's Goomba in there. Wasn't expecting that. It's kind of rude. Oh, boy. Oh, no. No. Oh. That's why we give you Yoshi. To make this episode d my proof Very good. Oh, boy. So this looks treacherous. Looks like we can just kind of traverse like this. It's kind of okay, but Yoshi's kind of sticky. Like, kind of awkward to use. That's okay, Yoshi. I've also been told I'm awkward to use, so I understand. All right, well, there weren't star bits in that, which kind of upsets me. You know how much I love those. Yours? All right, here we go. Oh, I guess it's not a different setup. I thought that it was, but the way that the opening scroll was, it made it appear like this was flat. It's not. There's still quite a bit of dimension to it. All right, so can I, can I switch this camera? This is gonna be brutal if I cannot. Oh, oh no. Yes, having Yoshi here definitely reduces the difficulty, I would say. Oh man, that was close. Not sure I particularly care for this. It's kind of making me clench the old b-hole. All right, we'll be fine. That's three down. Looks like four is up there. I don't know where five is. Kind of makes me feel like I'm playing Hubert. That's a classic, huh? An arcade classic? It's a classic. I don't really know much about it, though, to be honest. Oh, that was five. I thought... Wow. Here at D-Mike Place, counting apparently is optional. That's okay. Oops. <laughs> okay. So that was incredible. For some reason, I couldn't have expected that to happen. I don't... I don't have Yoshi this time. Oh, boy. All right, so we're doing this... We're, we're doing this uh, solo. Oh, man. This is going to be a lot worse. No, no. The only thing that we have now is the Luma spin to... Oh, boy. What have I done? Can I just get to someplace solid, please? Okay. Oof, this is a lot tougher than it was before. I've made a great mistake. I think if I'm just patient, though, I should be okay. It's really... No! Oof. Okay, well, not my best effort. It was a lesson learned. About how important friends are. This is a lesson of friendship, viewers. That's what this is all about. This is on purpose, trust me. I'm trying to show you the value of your pals. No. All right. Yeah, they put them in very awkward spots, which is probably intentional. I'm gonna try to like long jump my way around this platform of death. All right. This yeah, they're like sort of close together, but not really. 
yeah, it's like, it's tempting to just stick around and like, find out. But I'm not really interested in that. Okay. Alright, so we have one more. Let's see if we can time this correctly. Ooh, this angle is not good for me. Okay. I have a feeling the same thing is going to happen to me in a moment. If I'm not careful, I have to probably jump very quickly. Oof. Not today, Beat Block Galaxy. Not today! That was brutal, but we made it, guys. We made it. That's all that matters. So we made it together. All y'all, thank you for your help. Okay. Very close to finishing off World 3. Ooh, we can do the prankster comet of the Boom Bunker. Okay. That's fun, right? Perhaps we will? I mean, actually, I, I mean, we absolutely will, because I'm already on my way to do it, so we'll try that. And we'll try two stars from World 6. How about that? How's that sound? Is that a good compromise for everybody? Does everybody get what they want instead? I hope so. Because I'm all about compromising. Here at Mike Industries, we understand that you can't always get what you want. But I'm here to give you what you need. This is the Mega Hammer's Daredevil Bash. Ooh, this is going to be horrible. Prepare yourselves for this, viewers. Oh boy, all those delicious star bits tempting me, although I know what's about to happen. <laughs> if we remember, here it is. In a few episodes ago, in a few episodes ago, a few episodes ago, we fought Bowser Jr. I'm gonna tease us again. You don't really get the grand star, so I think that maybe he just has like amnesia or something. So we've already taken it from him. We've already cosplayed as Sheriff Mario. Okay, so if we remember, we have to, uh... Oops! <laughs> we have to not do that! Not the best start, I would say. Okay. Let's go ahead and skip the pleasantries. So, Bowser Jr. and the whatever boom machine guy has these large blue chestal sections that we need to fire the bullet billions at. Oh boy. Got one of them. I wasn't sure if I was going to make it or not. Oops, I don't think that's going to count. Oh, it did. Nice. Very good. And this is where you get all your star bits. You got to take him from behind. But you gotta be careful here because there's the, the dreaded shockwave. And the bullet bills that'll be coming out aplenty. Okay, so I think that I don't remember how to do this boss fight. It's been a while. You gotta hit him each twice. So he's got a little bit of stamina. Would like him to provide us with more ammo. Thanks. Beautiful. Ooh. I'm thinking that we might have to do this on the backside too, I don't remember. I don't even know the last time I recorded, to be completely honest. It's been a hot minute. Been a very busy boy. That looks good though. Two shots to the back. He's exposed his... his dome. Alright, things are gonna get kind of spicy here. I remember this being kind of crazy. Grab the one remaining star bit. You don't want to hear that sound. Okay. So we need to get access to the head. We're interested in head today. See if we can make that happen. Oops. That's unfortunate. That is not how I expected to die. Kind of dramatic. Alright, so... Hopefully this isn't taking me more tries. At least I know how to do it this time. That's good. Oops. His big old mallet's got in my way. That's rude. I'm trying to murder you. Stop it. Let me just do it. But thankfully, when you do fire the bullet bills, I'll miss the big one. 
it does interrupt that cycle, so you don't have to worry about it. Oh, come on. I don't have all day. I prefer not to have this episode drag on because I'm bad at boss fights, but that is entirely possible. And probably to be expected. All right. Let's go ahead and expose his backside. Gotta be mindful of the shock wave. Make sure you get ahead of it. You gotta clear the bar. It's quite the hurdle. If you don't, then obviously bad things will happen. All right. Let's go ahead and get rid of that bullet bill for now. Hinders our ability to jump around, jump, jump around. Okay. So yes. The only downside to having Yoshi is that little dip that he does. All right, phase two. It's a game, I've never played it. More of an Uno boy. Okay, here we go. Let's avoid it. Okay, so we saw this last time. Hopefully we can be smarter about it. It's a big if. So there's two shock waves. I feel like I needed to <laughs> have a bullet build a fire. I did not. So you do need one. You're gonna want to use this opportunity to fire away. Bowser Jr., there you go. I think it just takes two of those, maybe. So grab your requisite bullet bill. Grab another one. Oop, that might have been too early. This is scary. This is scary. And that's a boss fight, ladies and gentlemen. He's like, see ya, bye! I'm out of here. So no Grand Star, just the regular flavor. We'll take that. I just like the sound. I'm just going to be quiet for a second when you listen to this. Pitter patter for you. Pitter patter, get at her. You're welcome. That is another successful star. Surprisingly, went better than I thought it would. But then again, my expectations are incredibly low. Here we go. So that's a little bit of. World 3, I think World 3 is done now? Huh? It is? Great. Let's go ahead and pop into World 6. Try something new for once. The Melty Monster Galaxy. Sometimes when I spend too much of the day outside, I become a Melty Monster. So we'll spend some time in the magnificent Magma Sea. Hot Magma. Once again, the game is very excited about this level. Ooh, I remember this being a little bit of a pain in the buns. So we'll see what happens. That looks like a place in the background where you gather star bits and be annoyed. Just a hunch. But for now, it's Luigi time. Yes, look at that beautiful lighting on his face. He looks very orange. Okay, Luigi, let's make it happen, Captain. So why not start off with some pull stars, one of my favorite Mario Galaxy mechanics, as you all know. Oof, this is scary. I what these guys are called, but they're absolutely terrifying. Melty monsters. No! No! Oh man, he almost got me. Where's the next pull star at? Oh, you don't get one, you gotta sling it. Nope! Oh boy. Oh boy. Can we... Can we get up there? Can we just... Okay. No, let's grab this one for... <laughs> we gotta pace ourselves, ladies and gentlemen. We gotta sling ourselves all the way up there, and we're not doing a great job. Oh. So you should probably go down and get that, uh... Life Shroom, now that I see it. I ignored it, because I thought I was too good for it. I'm absolutely not too good for it. Go ahead and pop the bubble. Can we grab it? Yes, that was a pro move. You're welcome. 
Speedrunning Strat. Achieve. Alright. It's really tough to get into this <laughs> launch star. Nope. Oh boy. <laughs> the sound of Luigi right there. Ah! Ah! I feel like that's not what the sound I would make if I was having my buns burnt on a lava island, but then again, I've never tried. Can we just get... Oh my god. This feels futile. Nope. Oh boy. Oh man. We should already be dead by now, so... Nope. If I could just steer myself, which I cannot... How about a tactical reset? Isn't this fun? You betcha. I love this. This is great. Okay, back to it. We're doing awesome. As per usual. Sometimes the game just tries to give you a little hint and, you know, you can't really ignore it. So we're not going to ignore hints anymore. I'm going to try to keep the momentum going. Not really, it's like, not super good how you launch yourself back into it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's not... <laughs> it's not... Not the easiest thing I've done. Definitely the most fun, though. Top five? You guys know how D-Mike loves pull stars. Oh, yeah. So that's one of the things that you got to do, is pull stars kind of rely on momentum. And I have none of that. So, got that going for me. All right, don't really. There we go. You got to kind of whip yourself back and forth. Lick your hair. So sling down. Let yourself go. Capture your launch star. Stop being a big ding dong. Bye. See you. Bye. We figured out this game for children, guys. We did it. All right. Moving forward. Oops. <laughs> I feel like that wasn't even like the hardest part of the level, and I've already had a little bit of difficulty, but we did do it on our first try. Oops. Okay. All right. Great. This music kind of sounds like Pokemon. Like the beginning of. Uh, when you get your first pal. If you haven't, go back and watch Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, it's for your health. That's a great series. Temporarily, sort of permanently on hiatus, I don't know. Maybe done? Hmm? Haven't decided. Nope. Nope. Okay. Apparently you turn purple when you touch fire too. Maybe Luigi just has purple blood. His blood is actually Grape jelly. Little did you know that. Okay. Oh, that's rude. Thought that would have been... Oh. The game kind of felt bad for me there. Didn't, didn't give me the full punishment I deserved. I'm okay with that. Don't worry. This level is much more fun with the erratic controls of Luigi. Trust me. It's a blast. Pretty fired up about it. All right, this guy's just kind of waiting for us. He's like, come on, I'm gonna chomp you. No, you're not. No chomps. But we will be experiencing some inclement, inclement weather, so I apologize here for the turbulence, everybody. Somewhere around here is the Comet Metal, I know it. That just seems like it would be somewhere like this. You can ride these tornadoes all the way to the top. Luigi's enjoying getting blown right now. It's a good experience for all. Make me very dizzy. Make me dizzy just watching it. All right, so apparently it was not on that cyclone. I like to move my body like a cyclone, but it was not on that one. So maybe it's in the next section, hopefully, because if not, I'm gonna have to redo this. Maybe it's around here. Ooh, these guys look spoopy. I like their design, though. Oof. 
This is very confusing for my brain. These little planetoids are everywhere. There's the star in there. I think I did miss the comet metal, so I will have to be... Oh! I will be coming back and getting that eventually. Oh, no, I didn't. It's over there. Oh, guys, I can still get it. I can still get it. Now, getting to it is the part that I don't know... Ah! You made me squeal, game. You made me make sounds. Oh, no. All right, so the gravity situation here, oh, boy, is a little weird. Ooh, this is not good. All right, Comet Metal achieved for you guys, of course. I wouldn't leave you hanging. You gotta know where it is. And sometimes you don't, because I don't always tell you, but I... No, I don't always show you, but I do always tell you. And show me is usually better than telling, but sometimes you gotta take what you can get, viewers, okay? Let's not get greedy here. All right, can these things go away? Oh, no. They don't. Oh, boy. So you gotta be quick. Oh, boy. No. No. <laughs> Let's take a second and just hang out for a moment. Oh, Luigi, I'm so sorry, buddy. This is intense. Look at this. Very intense. But also very cool. We did it. I mean, that wasn't actually cool. It was pretty hot. If you know what I'm saying. Ooh, let's take a deep breath, everybody. Collect ourselves. Maybe step into some air conditioning. Thanks, Luigi. The background is just so ominous. Still don't know what that means. Maybe that's like a time trial thing. There we go, a thousand coins, which means nothing. Split path, ooh, a hungry Luma. Interesting. What do you have to say for yourself, Lubba? Two gambling Lumas? Oh, beautiful. We love that. Thanks, Luigi. For your help. Back to where you belong. Player two. All right, one final star for the day. We'll save the Hungry Luma for next time. For now, we're gonna take the Clockwork Ruins. This one, this one feels pretty fresh in my mind. I remember this one being pretty tricky, but also pretty fun. Okay, it's time for adventure. You betcha. The game is not ready for adventure, though. It seems like it needs to wake up a little bit from its nap. This one's got some platforming. A little tricky, but we'll make it happen. Don't worry. Some weird pumpkin Goombas. I'm not entirely sure the point of the pumpkin Goomba like, what the significance of it is, I don't... I just don't get it. Maybe it's just too above me. I mean, there's plenty of things that are, so... Now, there is one thing that I do remember about this level, is there might be a coin luma. I say that a ton, and then I'm usually wrong, but I'm pretty sure in this one that there is. So I'm gonna try to grab some early coins here and see if... I can get a visit from our financially obsessed friend. Oh, just kidding. Well, that's a fun look though. That pink sand, it kind of looks like that. Uh, I've seen pink salt that people use. Is that a thing? All right. Oh, probably didn't want to shoot him over there. Oops. Grab as many coins as we can. I don't know. Oh, he's just getting bounced around. Oh, he's back. Give him a little vacation. Every day is a vacation when you're doing what you love. Or something. I remember hearing that once. I don't know if I agree with it. Nope. No, nope. Please. Okay. That's too bad. Okay. I mean, we are eating into these lives right now. But you do get to hear this funky tune. Oh, my gosh. That's what I did last time. Can you come down here? Hey. Hey, you. Fine. I'll come to you. Give me your lunch money. I do really enjoy kind of the... I'm not sure what type of a horn it is. It sounds like it kind of has like French horn vibes to it, but then it could also be kind of like a trombone. 
but not like a farty trombone. All right. So our obsession with coin will continue. Oh boy. No, okay. You know what? <laughs> Maybe we'll try the coin luma another time. Because I would like to complete a level sometime today. And it'd also give me incentive to know exactly how much coin I need. Oh boy. For said coin luma, because I don't quite recall off the top of my head. In my small brain. Alright. This is probably a coin block? No? That's fine. I actually would prefer star bits. Why do they put that down there? There's nothing down there for you. Probably to prey on people with small brains like me. Alright, here we go. Also nothing. Just a uh, little uh, distraction. As we ride this all the way to the top. Kind of a neat gimmick, though, with the gravity and, you know, maintaining your balance on the platform. I like that. It's pretty cool. Yeah, there's a coin block here, so that would signify needing to utilize that. All right. Okay. Oops. Let's try that again. Maybe hopping, doing a backflip on it will give us a better trajectory. Ooh, this does not have a middle spot. Okay. Nope. Mario. Oh. Who was right? viewers. I told you. But we won't do it this time. Four is not good enough. Nope. Don't care about you. Bye! Maybe you could find 30 of them yourself. Maybe get a job and into the workforce, Coin Luma. The economy is not going to pay for itself. Alright. Boing! There we go. Yeah, so you need 30. That's something that we'll come back and do another time. Okay. I'm not entirely sure how I'm supposed to do this. Oh, there's a ton of starbits over here. I'm not paying attention in any meaningful way. What does this want you to do? Okay. So I think I can just kind of pop pop around this part for a moment. And then when it gets to the apex of the turn, I can do a back. Okay. Nope. Just kidding. All right. We'll try that again. This looks like it's an easier way. That's probably why this cutout is here, to help big old dummies like me. Perfect. Guys, we made it. We're just going to be doing the OG mission like I said. We'll come back around and try the coin mission. Ooh. Okay, was not expecting that. We'll try the coin luma mission another time. But I still need to find the uh, comet metal. I don't know where it is. Oops. Okay. It's kind of hard to tell what part of these platforms will be static and which ones of them are going to move. I guess the purple is there to clue you in. Probably not as tricky as I'm making it sound. Could you figure out the puzzle viewers? All right. I'm sure you all can. You're all smarty pantses. I don't see it in this area yet. But once again, another innovative use of gravities. Hitting that switch changes it. It's very cool. Oop, okay. This is very confusing for my brain. Oh, nope, that's not it. <laughs> Oops. All right. So we'll try that again. It'd be cool if there was a way to skip all of that, because that's not fun. Maybe there is. Just maybe there is. Wait. Oh, wait. No, stop. Quit. All right, we'll try that again with better timing. Nope. Nope. Okay. We'll try that again. Again. Right after this, can we talk to you? Help. Help yourself. Always expecting handouts, Lumas. Oh my gosh. There we go. At least puts us on the second level a little quicker. Speedrunning strats, pretty much pro gamer. We're doing all right. All right. So that last attempt really confused my brain. Let's try not to do that again. Do you really enjoy this song though? 
so I'm less conflicted about it. All right, let's run down here. We gotta be patient, guys. Just be patient. I could be patient, but I'm not good at it because I'm not a doctor. All right, we gotta hit this switch here. Slap that big red button. Boop, got him. Luma freed, check and check. Okay, oop, give him a little, little concussion on the way out. How does he know what mold is? A little moldy in that cage, he says, how do you know? All right, I see the Comet Metal. This one's a little notorious for being a bit of a butt. We got these gigantic rolling wheels that unfortunately are not made out of cheese. That we need to put ourselves into the gaps. So go to the mall, go to your local gap. Okay. Try not to get squished. Wish the camera would zoom out a little bit so I could see where the comet metal is. I know that it's around here. Hmm. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh, it's in between. Okay, there it is. So it seems like going up to one more wheel would probably benefit us the most. They're all kind of different though. So maybe try to jump into this one. Yes, there we go. That's using our brain cell. Oops. Well, the attempt was there. The ex execution was not. Try that again. Yes. Let's be patient. A little slippery. Whoa. Got him. Whoa. Was not sure where a ground was, so that could have been very dangerous. All right. Let's slide in there. We're doing great. Hurry up and get past this. I don't want to get squeezed. That is instant death. And what better way to finish up dealing with instant death from being squished than spikes? The game's very kind. Okay. Oops, how do I do this? All right. Well, this is dumb. I'm not a huge fan of this. Jumping on those weird nails. Boop. I like that, though. Use my butt. All right, where do... Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is a thing, right? Okay. Okay, great. I would like this thing... Okay, great. Thankfully, this does keep moving eventually. You gotta keep yourself in motion. The motion of the ocean. Never stop. Never quit. Never give up. Lots of wall jumps, so hopefully you guys are good at those. Okay. More better than me, because I'm not doing so well. Okay, great. You gotta kind of really... Oop. Okay. Great. You gotta really move it. And I like to move it. Move it. Oh, boy. It's not good. Not good. Timing it is one thing, but also putting yourself in position to be on the right wall at the right time is, of course, paramount. All right, so let's... Getting inside is the first step. This sandy cavern. All right. There we go. Much better. And we can wall jump to safety and get ourselves out of there. Whew. Let's hit this pipe real quick. See what's in store. A game. But these are coins. Cool. Don't care. All right, moving ahead. That's very useful if, you know, they hadn't put the coin luma in the first third of the stage. We're going to ignore that. What is happening here? Need a lift? All right, here we go. A fun little play on what we've just done already. Another platform with a huge wheel that we need to jump upon. Or not. Okay, great. Let me in. Let me in. All right. Nope. Okay. This is sort of, oh, okay. Kind of slanted, I guess. That felt weird, moving my hand. Okay, excuse you. Get out of my way. I don't have time for these shenanigans. 
All right, back to the top. Let's see if we can do this on our first. Oh, <laughs> what is what is happening here? Let's see if we can do this on our first try. You gotta be careful with the stone plop down first, because if you don't, it will crush you. Let's see if we can. Yes, there we go. Let's ride, run, cowboy. Here we go. Nope. 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 Stop. Quit. Oh, oh, there's spikes. I didn't even see those. I was like, how am I supposed to get it? <laughs> Ooh. That was really difficult. My goodness, I was not expecting that. But we made it. Success. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. We did it, everybody. First try. That unlocks. Ooh, we're getting close to one of the f one of the fan favorite galaxies coming up. But first, a letter. Hey, it's the chimp. There's a new game over in Honey Hop. If you think you got what it takes, swing on by. We might just do that. Next time. So, thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Super Mario Galaxy 2. And I'll catch you later. Bye.